Return of the Jacked Guy 3, Week 3, Day 1 of Neglected Muscles. Neck, abs, calves, forearms, triceps. It's on the menu. If you watch my check-in video that I posted, it'll be, if you're watching this today, this is posted, it was posted yesterday. If you watch that video, you know that this week I'm keeping my training the same. All the same movements, the same amount of sets, just looking to improve my performance. Not necessarily by weight, if I need to increase the weight, it will. But my progression will come in the form of looking to do more reps with any of like the drop sets or the supersets of anything that I'm doing. So I'm just going to push further and further into that metabolic stimulus, into the burn. I feel like my muscles are getting stabbed. I'm going to do that for fun and try and do it better than last week. My pre-workout meal, which is about like one to two-ish hours, and anywhere in that range before my workout, that has more carbs in it. My pre-workout drink, which is just coffee, has more carbs in it, which is honey. My intra workout carb source, which is the dehydrated mangoes from Costco. If you haven't gotten those yet, you have to. Uh, that's increasing, which is just straight carbs. And then my post-workout, just like, I call it anabolic cereal. It's just straight up puffed rice. That is also increasing, and I mix that with the protein shake. So carbs are up. Performance should also be up. Let's, uh, let's get at it. All right, we're in this bitch. Uh, rep scheme here is the triple drop set. 10, 10, 10. I'm gonna use 40, 30, 20. And I've yet to actually do 10, 10, 10 for all three rounds. So that will be the goal for today. And I'm still warming up. Put the working set at the end will be what you see. Okay, first two rounds, I got 10 for everything, which is already better than last week. The second round of 10 was probably, for like the second round of the triple drop set, was probably to the point where I would use the same weight again next week. So the form was a little bit sloppy. I'm gonna do as many perfect reps, perfect reps as I can, before I feel execution just fucking dis dissipate. I'll call it, and then just shoot to do better next week. And because my right arm is stronger than the left one, I'll do the left one first and then just rep match it with the right one. So I'll go for like what, 10, 7, 7 maybe? Alright, so when I was looking, just like watching and editing, actually no, I don't think I posted last week, no, I just remember, maybe I posted it, regardless, all I know is that my range of motion was shit for these last week, and I contribute that to just the weight being too heavy, and not allowing me to, or I just couldn't use my calves the way I wanted to, to do the 10, 10, 10 with that weight. I'm just going to go the lighter. For the most part, you don't want to be regressing in weights. But I would argue that like, if the weight is moving, you don't feel the target muscle moving. And then you drop the weight. And it just feels a lot better. The muscle you're trying to train is being stimulated way more. Then I would say that's the time to go lighter. 
but once you kind of get the feel for it by going lighter, like the weights need to go, start going back up again. So we'll see. This is probably the only movement that I'm just having to go less for sure. It's probably a good sign that everything else I'm probably executing correctly, hopefully. So we're just going to go a little lighter. second favorite machine in the entire gym. Uh, what am I going to say? Oh, uh, progression this week is to use the same weight, but cleaner reps, larger range of motion. is also awesome, just like everything else in this gym. Range of motion for this won't, uh, won't be that big. They have the common misconception because when people are training abs, they need to do just a fucking huge range of motion. That's not the case. If I'm looking to train directly the abs that are visible on the front of my stomach, the range of motion is a lot shorter than you think. And I'll be pretty much in that range throughout this, these sets, and I think you might be surprised at how uh, small it is. Thank <laughs> you. 
musty morning recap. So I weighed myself this morning. I was in the lettuce. I'm not gonna change anything. I'm just gonna run this week again. Cause it's like, you can't really gain much info from one day of a weight change. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing for the rest of the week and then assess at the end. Overall, the workout went pretty well. My calves were actually contracting, so that was cool. Everything else is like progression. I'm training upper body today and I'm expecting more of the same. Um, subscribe to the channel, goddammit, and I'll see you in the next one.